Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you guys have already read the title, so I filmed another What I Eat in a Week videos because you guys seem to really, really enjoy these videos. And I also filmed it where I track my calories for the entire week, and I don't track my calories like day to day. I track my calories when I'm editing the video, so I don't know like how many calories I ate the day before or like the day of or anything like that. I just figure it all out the day I'm editing. And I asked you guys on my previous video if you guys want to see the calories because my intention with these videos is just to show coming from someone that used to meticulously track every single calorie every single macronutrient that went into my body to the gram and I would have like this major anxiety attack if I went over like a certain amount of calories so my intention for these videos is to show just like how my calories fluctuate on a day-to-day -day basis and hopefully help someone that had the same mindset as me but I know that's not the case for everyone and I know seeing the calorie count can sometimes really trigger people so I asked you guys in my previous video what you prefer to see and most people did say they want to see the calorie count and they say it actually helps them and they like seeing the fluctuations and stuff which was basically my goal with the videos in the first place so that's why I'm showing the calorie count on this video and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you do please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know but if you absolutely hate it then of course you can give it a thumbs down that's okay too and of course subscribe for more content for your certified damsel in distress so I'm not gonna make this intro too long it's probably already too long so let's just get on with the video <laughs> For day one's breakfast, I had some strawberry cheesecake oats, and the base is just oats, which I mixed with some Sun Warrior vanilla vegan protein powder, some cinnamon, chia seeds, and salt. I then chopped up a bunch of strawberries and I topped my oats with them. And then for the kind of like cheesecake part, I mixed some vegan cream cheese. I'm using this one by Veal Life, and some Forger cashew milk yogurt, a little bit of this liquid stevia and vanilla cream, and some cinnamon. I melt the cream cheese in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to soften it a little bit and then I mix all of that together and then I pour it on top of my oats. A new addition to this recipe, which is life-changing in my opinion by the way, are these little cinnamon bun flavored cracker cookie things. I got them at Sprouse. I tossed a few of them in a plastic bag and I crushed them up so it's almost like the crust of a cheesecake and yes this was such a good decision on my part not to toot my own horn or anything but it was like the cherry on top for this recipe. <laughs> For lunch, I had bibimbap, which is a Korean dish that consists of rice, vegetables, chili paste, and it usually has meat in it, but I went with tofu. I actually got this container of assorted bibimbap vegetables at this Asian market nearby, which consists of radish, carrots, spinach, and bean sprouts. It also comes with the chili paste too, so it was really convenient. And yeah, then I also just threw in some tofu, and this lunch was super easy and quick to make, perfect for a lazy gal like myself. <laughs> dinner time and yes i am watching h2o delirious among us videos in the background but uh for dinner moving on to dinner i basically just had a giant bowl of roasted vegetables so i cut up some of these baby yellow potatoes which i then drizzled with a little bit of olive oil and then the seasonings that i use are salt pepper garlic powder italian seasoning and cajun seasoning and i threw these in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about i want to say like 20 to 25 minutes as for the other vegetables that I made, I roasted some broccoli and some bell peppers in the oven at 425 for around the same amount of time as the potatoes. For my protein of choice, I pan fried this vegan sausage from Sweet Earth. I also threw some mushrooms in the air fryer during like the last 10 minutes with the potatoes. And then once everything was finished, I put everything together on the same baking tray and I drizzled it all with some balsamic glaze. I also ate this with my favorite, my go-to garlic hummus, which I basically take a small little bit on my fork with each bite and that was my dinner. And for dessert, I ate three mini vegan chocolate chip cookies from Whole Foods. So for day two, I started off with my tea, which I had the day before and I have every day, to be honest. I just don't film it every day. I honestly, I feel like I've shown this so many times. You guys are just tired of seeing it by now. 
For my breakfast, I had a yogurt bowl with a cut up apple and some granola. So for the base, I used that Forager cashew milk yogurt, some cinnamon, vanilla protein powder, and some chia seeds. I then added a diced up apple. I used a gala apple because gala apples are my favorite with some kamut puffs and a good amount of this cashew coconut granola. Oh my God, it's so good. And then I also added just a little bit of oat milk to that. And that was my breakfast for the day. As for lunch, I had another super quick and easy meal. I air fried some of this cauliflower gnocchi and boiled some leftover Kite Hill tortellini, which is so good. I can never find this anywhere, but Kite Hill tortellini, chef kiss. Once both of those were finished cooking, I threw them in the same pot and I mixed it with some garlic hummus as well as some spicy marinara sauce. And yeah, that was basically it for my lunch. Super easy, but still got the job done. And yes, I'm eating with chopsticks. It's easier for me, okay? <laughs> For dinner, I had my noodle soup with tofu and vegetables. Another thing I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing at this point. And for dessert, I had another three mini vegan chocolate chip cookies and a small handful of those cinnamon bun flavored cracker cookie things. <laughs> I started my morning off with my tea and about a handful of these mixed nuts and then I moved on to having a real breakfast which was actually just the same strawberry cheesecake oatmeal that I had on the first day. As for lunch, I kind of had a bibimbap sandwich, which doesn't make sense considering the translation for bibimbap is literally mixed rice, but y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? I just had the tofu and the vegetables from the bibimbap lunch I had on the first day and I don't know why, I was just experimenting. I decided to put it in like a sandwich form and honestly, it was actually pretty good. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it. And I also had a quite large portion of popcorn on the side. For my dinner on this fine evening, I made myself some pasta with roasted broccoli. For my pasta, I like to mix in some garlic hummus and then I also throw in a cut up Beyond Meat hot Italian sausage and some mushrooms. And then I also add in some spicy marinara sauce. I mix that all together. And then for the roasted broccoli, I drizzled it with balsamic glaze. Of course, I'm like obsessed with balsamic glaze. Oh my God. It makes your vegetables taste so much better. And um, yeah, that was my dinner. And for dessert, I had my last. <laughs> my last three cookies. Day four is breakfast. Your girl was in the mood for some chocolate chip pancakes. So that's exactly what I made. I used this Birch Benders pancake mix and I also added just some, a little extra protein powder because why not? And I just add oat milk to it and chocolate chips. And I mean, making pancakes is pretty self-explanatory. Just cook them like normal. Can I just say like these pancakes, absolutely beautiful. I ate them with some maple syrup on the side and it was chef kiss, amazing. For lunch, I was feeling a salad, so I air fried these buffalo chicken tenders from Dr. Prakers, which I absolutely love adding to salads. For the salad, I used a base of some garden salad mix. God, take a shot every time I say salad, Jesus Christ. I added some chopped up cucumbers and some tomatoes. I like to drizzle a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette to this. And while I was waiting for everything, I ended up eating the rest of this bag of cheddar kapop chips. <laughs> but once I added the chicken tenders, I like to pour on like a creamier dressing. And for this day, I chose this sriracha tahini dressing. I gave it a good shake and that was my lunch. And for dinner, I once again had my go-to noodle soup with tofu and vegetables. And to end the night, because I can't end the night without having something sweet, I had two of these Neapolitan ice cream mochis. So pre-breakfast, I had a white chocolate macadamia nut cliff bar, mainly because it was about to be expired. But for my real breakfast, my bananas were finally ripe enough to make some banana nut chocolate chip muffins. I made these in a previous video before and oh my god, they are so freaking good. I will link the recipe in my pinned comment. If you want to give them a try, I highly recommend that you do. It's actually a banana bread recipe, but it can be easily modified to make muffins. I love adding chocolate chips and walnuts to my banana bread or muffins personally. This made about 11 muffins, which I don't know why, because the last time I made them made 12. Maybe my bananas were too small this time. I don't know. But for my breakfast, I'm showing that I had three, but I actually ended up having four total because an hour after I ate breakfast, I just had another one because they're just too good and they taste the best when they're right out of the oven oh my god i can't help it and after that i got really distracted because i was playing among us with my discord server which was so much fun thank you to everyone that joined i love you guys so much yeah i didn't end up eating lunch because i was too busy having fun and i decided to get myself a mushroom and seitan parmigiano pizza from my favorite vegan place of all time and yes i ate the entire thing 
For dessert, I had some of this chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. And that is going to conclude this video. I mentioned it in my previous What I Eat in a Week videos. I like to do more of a working week, which is Monday through Friday or five days of eating. And the reason I do that is because I like to post once a week and I'm not talented or skilled enough yet to be filming like two videos at once. So I like to give myself two days to be able to edit and upload and all that stuff. I'm sorry if that bothers anyone. But aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, which I wouldn't blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down, that's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.